next nigga get down on the beat. Crown on his head, shoes on his feet. What you wanna know? Hope trying to creep. Throw it in the hole. Yeah, we in the O, you feel me. Right off outside bully, you feel me. You know what I'm saying? Legendary things going on, you feel me. You figure deal. You know what I'm saying? Right off the boulevard, you dig what I'm talking about? Over here at Midnight Jack Bruin, you know what I'm talking about? We got everything going on from uh, brews to performances. You know what I'm saying? Real low key type, you feel me? The ocean side, wait. Wait. I stay neutral through it all. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Up with both sides, man. We just all from the same struggle. That's all it is. Haters means having anger towards everyone reaching success. Keep the hate out your motherfucking heart. Yeah. 86, you feel Like every other weekend, I'm, I, I can't stay away, so I'm down here, you know, tapping in with the folks, but uh, I work in, and live in LA. And then I just come out here on some like play and love, you know what I mean? Just family, family and friends type stuff. You gotta think of it like like world powers, like like you have Greece and then you have Trojans and then you have Sparta and then you have you know what I mean? Like just the little regions. So I like for us in Oceanside, I feel like we look at it like the little Sparta, you know what I mean? Within the bigger region of San Diego, just. Like, when you really need some solid people from over here, like, cats really keep it solid, you know what I mean? On some, like, by the code type stuff and just, just, just stay solid about whatever type of move you make, you know what I mean? That's one thing I can say about this place to where we don't have to be like, oh, we San Diego or, oh, we LA. It's just like, if you're really from here, you're gonna be like, I'm from Oceanside, and that's just period, point blank. You know what I mean? It's just like its own little town, you know what I mean? Right here by the beach. We got the military right here. But even that is like, as an aesthetic to, to just how we grew up hearing them bombs all the time, hearing gunshots while being in the little section off neighborhoods, and then also being able to see the beauty to see where you could get later on in life if you just stick to the hustle of it all. So I just feel like, this is like a mecca of just all different types of vibes and it just makes you, makes you uh, eclectic, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just take my shit serious, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be like the best me as possible, you feel me? What I know I'm capable of, I'm trying to reach that potential and thrive in it, that's it. Uh, I put out a uh, Soul Rebel back in 2015, and then I went on tour with that, and then like all these different labels started like hitting the email, and it was kind of unbelievable at first. And then, uh, you know, it was kind of unbelievable at first, because we was on tour just getting emails. I'm like, this shit ain't real. And then, you know, uh, a couple of the different labels like came to certain shows throughout the tour to where it was like, oh damn, like, y'all got representatives coming out here. But it was still kind of unbelievable. Then I got off tour and started going to their offices. They had me coming in, like doing studio sessions, just on some like courting type stuff. And then, um, um, you know, I met with a few different ones and like the one that I ended up choosing to like continue the conversation with was Interscope. And from there, man, um, it took like a year just to get the short form, um, you know, to sign and like agree on something. And then I was with this independent label uh, that was kind of more so on some like positive hip hop type stuff. And uh, uh, like things kind of got weird with that. So, you know, going into a major label situation, I cut ties with that and uh, just decided to do this solo artist grind. Money gets funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and cash, cash fill a title, um, you know, things like that could mess up a business situation. When you kind of run your business like a family and then you turn it into like, oh, no, no, it's just business. It's confusing for me. So for me, it was just like a thing of like, okay, well, if this is business, then let me get on my business tip and stop being so loyal to what I thought was family. 
instead of just understanding, okay, this is how business works. So when I understood that, it was like, nah, I'm not gonna get the short end of the stick just cause I know I have a loyal personality. Um, so yeah, I split ways with that independent uh, label I was on and um, just realized, okay, and now it's time for me to learn this stuff for myself. And I, I feel like I have plenty of years um, within that independent label to understand how to move and how not to move as well, you know what I mean? To where now it's like, okay, I can handle my own as far as uh, business is concerned. And then with the music, it's just the same thing, man. Just, you know, create. Like shoot, shoot, murder, murder, kill, kill. But that's not what I'm on. That's never what I'm on. I want everybody to live long. But for me, it's just like, I got to talk about what's, what I really see, you know what I mean? And these parameters that y'all want me to live in are not really the parameters that I lived in. So I feel like I'm lying to the people if I continue to just make music in this uh, comfort zone in order to just be, like, to just make money. Like, that's not why I'm doing this. Like, I'm actually making music because it's a, it's, it's a way for me to not be uh, uh, violent or negative or any of those things. It's a way for me to actually express myself and be a uh, uh, positive influence within my community. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's just like, I have to I have to get it out the way it came in. You know what I mean? That's, that's simple as that. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't filter it. I can't do any of that. I, I got the EP finished. Uh, I'm working on an album now, but I got this EP that's about to come out top of the year, 2019. And, you know, I'm gonna put that out, try to tour that. Not even try to tour that, I'm going to, I'm going to tour that and uh, just spread that and then continue spreading vibes, man. That's that's it. If anything, I'm just trying to be a lighthouse like for this region, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cause it's not just me that's talented. It's, it's a bunch of dudes out here that have made me uh, go harder just with my craft, you know what I mean? It's to where I feel like, I just want to be that person that's like, okay, it's talent out here. You know what I mean? And from there, everybody else can get they, they proper do, you know what I mean? So where it's like, okay, this is where this is going on. This is where this is going on. This is where this is going on. Whatever type of genre or uh, content matter, whatever the case you may have, you know what I mean? I just want that to be like a, a big thing out here. Like just how like these different regions now are starting to get their shine. I want I want this to be a region where it's like, okay, y'all slept on it for 15, 20 years, okay. <laughs> let's let's get it back to where it should be, you know. Um, we went to church on the east side of Ocean Side and I was raised on the back in the valley, so <laughs> my mom um, they from South Carolina, Florida, came out here to the military, it's a military town. Uh started going to this church called Saint John, um, on the east side and my mom was like the choir director. And my pops would preach, but he was also like a poet, but he, he had books of poetry. So I think that's where I got the ability to put words together and rhyme them, and also put melody together, you know what I mean? And harmonies together. Just those two parents, you know what I'm saying? My dad being a poet, my mom being a singer. And from there, I mean, when I was like 12, uh, the rally in there, we had a four track. <laughs> Not the eight track, the four track, and we we uh, I took Babyface's lyrics and just put them to an instrumental that he had played on the piano, and then from there it was we recorded that. I was like, damn, I kind of like how this sounds. And then after that, I was doing hooks for homies in garages, and then from there I started performing at this little bar called the Jumping Turtle. Another bar, rookies, just different bars out here. Uh, uh, flying bridge when that was Ricky's there. was fucking ratchet. I've been there before, and I was like, yeah. "This is the first bar up north where I feel like I'm something might happen to me here. Yeah. This is the first place. Like it's a bad little yeah. thotty bitches up here, but something might happen to me." Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Real OGs know about jumping turtles. Jumping yeah. turtle, yeah. you feel me? Jumping turtle, OG shit. You know, OG shit. Uh, uh, rookies. Uh, the list goes on, man. I was like 15 going in some of these places before I was even 21. Yeah. And uh, just kind of like getting the sound out here to where people was like, yeah, tell me, telling me to keep going with stuff. And then I started putting my stuff on on blogs, like on the internet. And then from there, it was just kind of like, okay, a buzz is building on this like internet tip where anybody could listen. And then a buzz was building locally to where it just kind of bubbled at the same time. And people locally could see, oh, people outside of our town are fucking with him. And people 
outside of the town could be like all people in this town are fucking with him. So I just started bubbling like that. And then from there it was just like, okay, I think I got something here. And uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, from that, you feel me, moms and pops both was like, yeah, this is something positive. You're not doing nothing that's gonna put you in trouble or get you dead. You're doing something that's gonna bring people together. And I just felt like I had support from my family, the city, strangers. And it's like, all right, this is full gas, you know? It's, it press, press on that gas real quick. And I've been doing that since.